This is Muscle Central and I'm Michael Diamond. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment. Okay, with changes that have been made in the uh, process to qualify for the Olympia, we have no more point system. Uh, where previously top five automatically qualify for the following year's Olympia, it's top three. It changes things a bit. Uh, we've been saying, people have been saying for a while that there are a lot of bodybuilders out there that should be jumping into some of these shows that they're not jumping into. And if they don't jump into it, some people that we would be expecting to see on the Olympia stage might not make it. Hunter Labrada and Andrew Jack, last year's Olympia, Hunter uh, sixth, Andrew fifth. I'm wondering whether their strategy to qualify for the Olympia is the best strategy. They both have shows coming up very soon. I think both the shows are within a month's time. Both, I would assume, would be favorites uh, to win the show. Win's not a guarantee. Shit happens. Things can go wrong at the last minute. You don't know. It's not set in stone. Yeah, you might be the favorite, but you're not a guaranteed winner. Problem is, what if we have a situation where one of them or both of them fail to win the shows and don't qualify? Now they need to compete again and win the show to qualify. Gets a little tougher here. There are very few shows left uh, this year before the Olympia. The last show before the Olympia, I know for certain, is not a, an Olympia qualifier for this year. You win that show, you're qualifying for the 2025 Olympia. I think the show before that also is not a qualifier for this year, it's for next year. I could be wrong. Then after that, there's two, maybe three shows left. There's not a lot of time. Uh, like I said, they they are the favorites. They, I would assume they both are the favorites going into their respective shows. But once again. It's not set in stone. Shit happens. And if they don't win their shows, they might have a problem qualifying for this year's Olympia. I don't know if it was the best strategy. Now, the way I look at it, right after the Olympia, there are a handful of shows that come up very quick after the Olympia. I think they're all overseas, or most of them are overseas. But you you just got off the Olympia. You're, you're already in shape. You're, uh, why aren't you jumping into one of these shows that come up? You're not qualified. You need a qualification for the next year's Olympia. Why aren't you jumping into one of these shows right after the Olympia when you're already in shape and you and and the truth is for some reason a lot of the top guys uh seem to avoid it. I guess they just want to take a rest after the Olympia. Take advantage of the condition that you're in now. Uh at that point, jump into the show, get your qualification, get it out of the way. Now you're qualified you got a whole year. You basically got a whole year before the next Olympia if you choose not to compete. In between, then you have plenty of time to take a rest, pull back, 
let your body recover, recuperate, and then start uh, putting the gears into motion and focusing on the upcoming Olympia. I, if I was to put me on a spot and have to bet on it, I would probably lean towards Hunter and Andrew both winning their shows and qualifying. But like I said, uh, it's not set in stone and it might end up backfiring on one or both of them. You just got finished with it in Olympia, and this goes for the other competitors also, uh, that were in Olympia and, want, and need to qualify for the following year. Jump in these early shows. Try to get your qualification really early, and then you just have enough time to, like I said, recuperate, uh, regroup, and then focus on the Olympia again. Okay, you can agree or disagree with anything I've said. Please let me know in the comments section. This is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.